Hi, my name is Ben Ramos. I'm a firefighter here at Station 13. I've been with Adams County now for about three years. Tonight, we're gonna to be cooking chicken fajitas. I'm gonna bring my crew in here. We're gonna have them get involved with me a little bit. Um, but I did wanna kinda of touch base that not all of this is about like the food we cook or anything that we prepare here. It's really about the, the time we get to spend uh, around the kitchen table and kinda of have that family. You know, a lot of problems get solved at the dinner table, either between the crews or between the day's events and stuff like that. I think we, we try and come up with some solutions and definitely kind of rag on each other and bust each other's chops a little bit at the kitchen table. Unity. Sometimes we call it crudity, where everybody gets together, sits around the table, and they discuss where we're going, where we've been. So it's a way of communication. A lot of it all gets solved, laid out on here on the dinner table. We've got Simple Truth chicken breast that I'm gonna be doing. Um, and then everything else is fresh. I even have tomatoes and jalapenos for my own garden. And then I'll be making my own guacamole and giving you my secret for that. I'm gonna have my paramedic Vern step in. Um, he's gonna help cook and prep some of this stuff. Hello. Um, and then I'll also have uh, these two other gentlemen over here. It's gonna be acting officer Mike over here and firefighter Alex. Um, they're also gonna be around here with me uh, helping prep. So let's get started. So definitely wash our hands before we do any, anything. And I'll start also getting some of this stuff washed. So while Vern's kind of prepping some of the, the jalapenos and stuff, I just wanted to kind of briefly talk about how there's a super high expectation to be at least a decent enough cook here at the firehouse. You definitely do not want uh, your crew going hungry. Uh, we get interrupted so much and we're so busy, so Dinner kind of becomes that, that chance for everyone to decompress. and So if you drop the ball on dinner, it's, it's not going to go well for you for a while. This is such a competitive industry that we're in here. Service that we do. Uh, the guys always try to outdo each other by stepping it up a notch. I think the majority of us um, kind of come into learning how to cook into the fire service because of the peer pressure. So I think you, you, you try to one-up each other each time you cook. So I think you become a better cook. typically won't try too many new things unless uh, I've tried them at home first. At least that way I know for a fact that at least my fiance likes my meals, um, or my parents for that matter, I guess. But uh, it would be a total roll of the dice. Um, yeah, we don't push it too much because we're dealing with five different people's tastes and everybody's got that one thing that they don't eat. I, for example, I don't eat mushrooms and apparently that's really weird in a kitchen try and manage those tastes and cook something new and not screw up dinner. It's better just to go with what you know. And for the most part, we try to do really healthy meals um, for our crew. The physical fitness, health, all that stuff is a huge part uh, of our normal day to day. So cooking a healthy meal is gonna be also an intricate design uh, aspect of what we do. Right now, uh, I'm gonna be seasoning the chicken with the uh, pollo asado and uh, the peppercorn. I go kind of heavy with it just because when it goes onto the grill, it kind of takes some of that some of that seasoning off. Um, so Vern's doing that for me right now, just kind of giving it a heavy seasoning. He'll do that on both sides. Just a touch of garlic salt on there. Perfect. The grill? Uh, yeah, if you don't mind, Vern, I appreciate that. Yep. Thanks. Uh, lunch, breakfast, everything. There's a lot of prep work that goes into that, but sometimes we don't get to enjoy it the way that we'd hope for. Meals have been ruined, uh, obviously, if they're still in the oven or on the grill. Sometimes they're just charcoaled up by the time we get back, and pizza is a valid option at midnight when we come back from a structure fire. You make a bad meal, we'll eat it, but we'll give you a hard time. You know, it will fill us up. It will give us energy, you know, throughout the day, but we'll give you definitely a hard time. Oh boy. <laughs> You're probably asked to uh, not cook for a while. It takes looking at, you know, 10, 15 YouTube channels and, and, and cooking at home. Practice makes perfect. I think you get a couple chances and then, then you're relegated to other things. You're just not allowed to cook at that point. Everyone's counting on you to make the right meal. You screw it up, that's it. So here we are, gonna be checking the chicken. Once again, you wanna have it at least 160 degrees on the inside or where there's no pink left in the middle. We'll just cut it in the thickest part of the breast. You can see that there's no pink in that one. And there's no pink in that one. So I think we're good to go here. 
All right, so Vern's gonna continue on. He's gonna be sauteing the bell pepper, onion, uh, and jalapeno. It's gonna be all kind of mixed into one. We're gonna saute that with a little bit of oil. He'll probably season that just a little bit as well. Uh, Alex has been doing a great job on my guacamole over here. Um, so we're gonna throw a little jalapeno uh, into it, spice it up, bam! We also have some onion we're gonna put into there, so I'll just kind of coat the top layer. Last bit we're gonna put in there is gonna be a, just a couple limes um, to kind of season up. Uh, Alex already put lime zest, which she kind of just zested the lime up top here first. Um, but again, to kind of give it that flavoring as well as uh, if you want your guacamole to hold for a little bit longer, we're just gonna mix that that all up. We already got some chips here as well. Um, and since Mike has been over here, uh, taking other pictures of us. Mike's gonna come in here and tell me if it's any good. Well, the more people we can get actively involved in quality control, the better we can make this every single time. Mm. Let me know if I'm missing anything there, fellas. Mm, nope. good. good teamwork, good crudity, good, good crudity, yeah. So now we're just kind of getting everything totally set up and squared away for the final bit here. And you can either fry corn tortillas or flour tortillas, but we're just gonna put them in the oven. Show's on, baby. Show's on. So we got our guacamole, salsa, lime, cilantro, onion, cheese, tortilla chips, lettuce. So we're basically ready to wrap this thing up and uh, start plating some food. All right, all that prep work, everything's done. What do we think, boys? Ben, uh, chicken's not done. Is McDonald's what? still open? Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my God. They do, they have, they do boneless yes. chicken? Well, that's great, guys. I guess, I guess I'll order pizza. All right, get the trash. <laughs>